Equation 6 was as follows. Convert 11.25 to a number in base 2. Convert 11.25 to a number in base 2. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to write the expression, the number which you want to convert, 11.25. So we write 11.25. Then 11.25... Um, once we have written like that, the next step we're going to separate 11.25 and we're going to separate 11.25 into two sections. One, I'm going to write the whole number alone, which is going to be 11. Then I'm also going to write the decimal number, which is 0 0.25. Okay. Now, first I'm going to convert the whole number, which is 11, into base 2. So to convert 11 into base 2, I'm going to come up with a frame like this one which is like that, then I'm going to write 2 there, 11 there, and I'm going to write R there for remainders, okay. Then I'm going to say 2 into 11, it will go 5 times, remainder 1, so I'm going to write remainder 1 there, then 2 into 5, it will go 2 times, remainder 1. 2 into 2, it will go uh, 1 time, remainder 0. 2 into 1, it will go 0 times remainder 1. Okay, now I'm going to write the answer. The answer is going to come from the remainders. So I'm going to start with the last remainder to the first remainder. So I'm going to write 1, 0, 1, 1. That is the number in base 2. So 11 in base 2 is 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, 1, 0, 1, 1. That is the that is the number in base 2 that is 11 in base 2 okay once we have done this that means we have found the value of uh, 11 in base 2 we go to uh, the decimal part which is 0 0.25 okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get 0 0.25 times 2 which will give me 0 0.50 now once i've multiplied this uh, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this zero, the one I've put in red circle there. This zero, okay, which is the part of the whole numbers, okay, which is this zero, I'm going to write it here, okay. Then I'm going to multiply 0 0.50 times 2, which will give me 1.00, okay. Then I'm also going to get 1 like that, then I write it, okay. Now, that means... 0 0.25 in base 2 will be 0 0.25 in base 2 will be 0 0.01 0 0.01 now as you have noticed that um, i'm starting with when i'm writing the answer for the decimal numbers i'm starting from the top coming down that's how you write it so for the whole number you write the remainders from the last remainder to the first remainder for recording the answers for the decimal places you start from the top coming down okay now once you have written like that then that means now you have come up with a value of uh, 0 0.25 in base 2 okay so the value of 0 0.25 in base 2 is 0 0.01 now, what I need to do is, now I need to combine these two answers. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add them. So, I'm going to add 1, 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 0, 0.01. Okay, remember these are in base 2. Even if I didn't mention base 2, but you can see the sign there, base 2. Okay, then when I add that, it's going to give me the answer which is 1, 0, 1, 1. Point zero one one zero one one point zero one. Okay, so therefore we can say converting eleven point two five to base two will give us one zero one one point zero one base two. Okay, so basically that is the answer for this question if you have got questions you can ask in the comment section otherwise that is the correct answer